Hi everyone, welcome back to Dolly Corner. Uh, it's been a while since I've put up a video, well a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks I did my Lucy Wen box opening didn't I? Yeah, uh, that was the last one. Um, but it's been a while since I've been able to record a video on a Saturday morning which is when I normally do them uh, and I do it then because my girls have their swimming lesson so I have the house to myself. <laughs> Um, but for the last few Saturdays we have had school fates and parties and we've got days out and parties coming up for the next couple of Saturdays as well. So I am taking the opportunity to film this today, which is Thursday, um, and it's quite a nice day. Well, nice in as much as it's not raining all the time. <laughs> like it has been for the past three weeks or so here. I don't know. I, I don't think it's been just here either. I think it, everyone's saying how it's raining a lot at the minute. Um, but yes, um, it's actually a little bit of sunshine earlier, although it's disappeared again. Never mind. Um, so uh, unfortunately, I haven't got lots of faces or anything that I've painted to show you. I have got something to show you that I've uh, finished painting. Um, but I've not been able to spray because obviously I can't go outside and spray because it's raining and then it's damp. Um, so, um, yeah, instead I've got a few things to show, um, that I have acquired for the dolls, purchased for them. Um, okay, let's start with my lovely Daniel here. And to cheer you all up, because of all this miserable weather, he's showing his chest. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, that's not really the reason he's showing his chest. Um, he's showing his chest because I wanted to show you these trousers. <laughs> which, yeah, I'm not sure um, about these trousers. I, um, I ordered these jeans for him uh, quite a long time ago when I first got him. And they only arrived this week. Um, and in the meantime, um, as I've mentioned before, I had decided that I wanted to try and turn my Daniel here into um, a bit of an homage to a, a book character um, from a book that I've been reading. Uh, I've still not finished the trilogy, so I'm, I'm not saying who. Um, but I'd already ordered these jeans and thought, well, never mind, you know. So I'll have a pair of jeans. Anyway, like I say, they came this week. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. They're a bit... I'll put, put your arms up. To, oh, he's not going to keep his arms up, of course. I'm not sure. They are a little bit big. Now, they sort of... You can see what I mean. I mean, they are... I could do that. I could put a big tuck in them. And yeah... That would look much better as far as I can see. But I bought these, they have two different styles, baggy fit and tight fit. And I didn't buy the tight fit because I thought I didn't want them to be too tight. But the baggy fit, you know, they're all right here, but I don't know. And they were specifically listed as for as being for JID size dolls so it's not that I've ordered the wrong size um that's a shame because they're really nice jean nicely made but yeah I just don't know what's going on with this bit at the top it just looks a bit you know I don't know I don't know I, I don't know if they're meant to be like you know that sort of thing where you walk around with your bum hanging out <laughs> Anyway, there we are. So, um, yeah, bit of a miss, those. Not not a hit, a miss, weren't they? Yeah, never mind. Um, I will link the shop uh, below because they, they sell lots of things. I'm sure that, you know, I'm not saying that the shop is rubbish or anything. It's just that these don't fit my doll very well. Um, but other things that I have got for this young man is, um, let's see if we can get you to stand there. He does stand well, I'll say that for him. He'll fall over now. Um, okay, AliExpress. 
I have bought him a sword. Uh, it's just really heavy this, you can't tell um, just by looking, but um, it's a sword, it's a keyring, obviously, which I shall remove, but um, yes, his character, they, they seem to carry a knife strapped to them, um, but I couldn't find anything knife-sized, or that would be knife-sized on him, that was in the right style, but I thought this might be alright, um, it's quite nicely detailed this sword and um, the hilt and uh, what do they call this bit it's not the case is it? <laughs> fetch me my sword and its case no um i don't know what they call it anyway this is nice nice so uh, and it's good size next to him can't see it with this dark jeans but so that's that i did at the same time i did order him a bow and arrow which i'm hoping will be the right sort of size um but that hasn't arrived yet the when you order one single item small item from aliexpress it does take ages doesn't it because i think they literally just put them in the normal post and then they probably come over on the boat rather than fly so still waiting for the bow and arrow. Um, and the other thing that I got for him were these oh, wings. Now, the character that I'm trying to make him a bit like has wings. And I was thinking, oh, how am I going to make wings? I mean, I'm no seamstress. Um, so I just typed doll wings into Etsy and these appeared now these are doll wings they're padded and um, they're gold as you can see and they're obviously meant to be like angel wings which is not what i'm looking for for him he's meant to have bat like wings no i'm not making batman <laughs> um the right sort of size look it'll be the right size on him but i need to I figured maybe I could get some fabric paint and paint them black and then uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make them look a bit more bat-like. They're supposed to have claws on them I think. I'm not sure if I'll achieve that or not but anyway I've got I've got those. So um, yes um, and also for him I've ordered him a black shirt uh, from Aliexpress. Now I had to seek advice from my Facebook friends <laughs> again because I did not understand the sizings that they put on the Aliexpress shop as a what um, so I've ordered the size that's probably going to be the nearest to him but whether or not it will actually fit him when he, when it gets here I don't know but it's just a plain black shirt um, and also from the same shop another wig um, black but um, not fur this is a fur wig um, so this is not a fur wig that's coming and it's shorter style which is what I wanted for him um, but I don't know I've spoken before about wigs and me <laughs> wigs the bane of my life you see a wig you see the photo you think that is perfect then it arrives and you either you can't get it on <laughs> or um, you get it on and it looks nothing like the photo <laughs> so, so I don't know so I've taken a chance I've ordered this wig and we'll wait and see what happens when it gets here um, but anyway there we are so that's Daniel he's um, he's had lots of things ordered for him yes being spoiled Can you stand back there with the girls please Okay, other things that have arrived this week. The, the iodide poly for my um, Mirador Lily head and body. Um, yes, there we go. I, I don't know when this is gonna happen. It's not gonna happen anytime soon because I don't have a saucepan because I need to buy a cheap saucepan to use for dyeing. Obviously I can't just use I can't use saucepans out of the um, kitchen cupboard that we're then going to cook out of. So, um, yes, I need to buy a saucepan. 
something else to go on the dolly shopping list and i know that's arrived so that's good because that was one point when that wasn't coming either and i had emails saying oh they've not sent it and da 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 anyway it's here and the final thing that has arrived this week um <laughs> now this is demi's fault dems bjds demi this is all your fault i blame you for this and um, this is um a vinyl head uh, from aliexpress um if any of you watch demi you will have seen that she's bought recently some lovely vinyl jointed vinyl they're not ball jointed but um jointed vinyl dolls from aliexpress um 60 centimeter um dolls and um yes i thought oh yes i'll i'll have to give it a go um but i just bought the head because i thought i'm not really sure you know what size they are i don't have any sd girls um let's just see so i bought the head and i bought it blank so that i could paint it myself and it wasn't supposed to come with eyes but it did come with eyes these brown eyes which is just as well because the eyes that i had in my little eye stash which i thought were going to be big enough aren't <laughs> so thank you for free eyes um and i was quite i have blides and uh, poo lips so you know i have big headed dolls but i i was quite shocked by how big this head was <laughs> strangely and i thought oh gosh okay right let's see let's see what wigs we can find for this head oh, you know where this is going don't you i had a couple of wigs left over that i had bought specifically for pulip kits that i had you make your own pulip doll which i have subsequently sold i've sold the kits i still have the wigs and i thought ideal that must be about the, the right size i couldn't get the i couldn't get the wigs on the pulip heads of course which is part of the reason that i gave up on the kits and just sold them could i get them on this head no i could not i don't know if it's because it's slippy but it just didn't seem it might be my hands because i have a bit of a problem with my hands i just couldn't get them to go on the head seemed too big so at this point i thought right fine i'm just going to sell this head but then i remembered i had one more wig which again was bought to go on a pulit doll but um from a different seller than the other ones i've tried in fact i think this is a lutz wig i think this is an actual lutz wig um so i tried this one on and it fits there we go see it goes on nice and easy uh, this is the thing with me i think if i can't i can't do that thing where you, you stretch wigs and get them on which is probably what you're supposed to do you're probably supposed to do that and sort of so it's an exact fit but me i have because of my stupid hands <laughs> i have to have the wigs a little bit big um so that i can just get them on and then that's fine so anyway there we are so this is wig which is sort of gray and coffee brown it's sort of streaked with some white in it it's quite pretty feels nice um like i say i think it well, i bought it from pulip style which is a a pulip doll stockist in the states um so this what you know this is sold as being for pulips but i bet i couldn't get it on a pulip head <laughs> anyway um it's a nice wig and i looked at her and i thought oh she looks quite nice no she's got this wig on um you can start to see you know a bit of a character coming through now she's got hair and i thought maybe i will give her a face up and get her a body and um, so i've decided she, to me she looks quite young um it, she looks quite young i don't know if it's the wig style and the fact she's got not got any blushing yet but um so i have ordered her a body again uh, one of these jointed bodies from aliexpress and the outfit i have ordered for her which we just have to hope fits because it's not it's not one of the outfits that they sell with the bodies that i've bought uh, the outfit i've bought is a 
Japanese style school uniform um, outfit, which looks really nice in the photos again. <laughs> Let's hope it looks really nice in real life. So waiting for the body and the uh, outfit to arrive and um, I would have started her face up but haven't been able to spray her because it's been raining. But there we are, so she looks quite sweet. Um, so if it all works out, she will be my biggest doll. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put her. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get any more like her. <laughs> We've all said that, haven't we? <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Right, so that's all my purchases. Yes, yes. So um, this is what I've managed to get done painting-wise this week. Some of you may remember my little fairy girl. I have finished painting her wings. There we go, both sides. I just did this with soft pastels um, and small paintbrushes. <laughs> um, it's not sealed yet because of course it's raining so I haven't been able to seal it um, and what I'm going to do is when I seal the wings I'm going to spray her body as well because I want to blush you know collarbones and boobs and hands and things a bit or joints knees and stuff so she does look even more the contrast between the unpainted body and the painted wings is quite a lot now um, and I will be getting the old Pearl X powders out and covering her in that so that she's a sparkly fairy um so there we go that's that uh, i did start her head as well because i had previously sprayed that but i think i need to spray it again because you can't even really tell that i've done anything i tried to put purple and green you can maybe see a bit of the purple eye sh eye eyeshadow on her eyelids to match um, but it's not taking at all so I think give her another give her another spray and hopefully um, it'll give the it'll give them something to grip onto but there we go that's her so that's it that's that's all I've got to show you that's all I've got to tell you yes um, I've been watching your videos of course, really enjoying those. Um, I think everyone's finding it a bit difficult at the minute um, just because life is a bit busy and the weather's a bit rubbish and yeah. But um, keep going everyone, <laughs> please. <laughs> and uh, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.